I'm Heather Geyer. I'm the Vice President of Elm Community Teachers Association. I'm honored to help present this year's award for our educator and support staff. Um, if you're not familiar with Elm Community Teachers Association, we are an association with Elm R1, staff with a mission of working together to support each other in our school. One of the many great things we do each year is facilitate the educator and support staff of the year awards. So the process of receiving these prestigious awards starts with being nominated by your peers. And if you're nominated and you meet the requirements, they have the opportunity to go through the application process. Their application and letter of recommendation is reviewed by the committee. We narrow it down to the top five, and they have the opportunity to go through the interview process. So the requirements for educator of the year of, include having been taught in the district for at least five years, being a member of a professional education association, and a member of LMZTA. Our requirements for support staff include being in the district for at least three years and being a member of CTA or MSTA. So the applicants are interviewed by a diverse group of experienced educators from outside the district. Um, some of the things that educate the year applicants are evaluated on are their philosophy of education, teaching methods, methods of improving professionally, school and community involvement, and self-evaluation. And then support staff are on the, are evaluated on job description, school and community involvement, how they support the school they work in, and self-evaluation. And lastly, the educator of the year then has the opportunity to apply for the Central Region Missouri State Teacher Association Outstanding Educator Award. So this year, our support staff of the year is Juanita Jarrett. Year, and that is Brandy Albright. 